Hello everybody, we're back at the laptop once again for another VR, and this time it is for the Brian LCS 600 sub giveaway. Uh, it was very recently, uh, late February, that I was actually lucky enough to win his 500, one of his 500 sub giveaways, and he's already crossed over to 600, as you can see here, 604, and for his 600 sub giveaway <clears throat> he requested a vr and he and he said give us three shout outs of channels that are under 300 subs plus and you can see this tab open here the cbc awards the comic book community awards i've mentioned them in the past i highly recommend checking that out uh links to every channel plus the cbc awards are going to be down below Again, I'm pointing and gesturing because I absolutely forget that uh, nothing is on camera except the uh, the computer screen. <clears throat> and he, they did an announcement for the new category or for the categories. There are some new categories, and he wants to know which one are we most looking forward to. The nominations are open, so I'm going to actually get in there as soon as I'm done recording this and put in my nominations. Uh, for the categories and the one in particular I'm looking at it's going to be a good one so uh, for those of you that don't know Brian LCS comic book guru he talks about all kinds of good comic stuff he does comic reviews he did a really really good review of the amazing Spider-Man series that just wrapped up uh, and now is moving on to another one um, you know, he did the 80 cent comic book haul and he always starts off with a lovely young lady or with uh, another lovely young lady or all kinds of stuff going on. But 80 cent comic book hauls and he just started a new series, uh, the comic book community 411, in which he brings in multiple people from the comic community and, asks, and basically interviews them, James Lipton style. For those of you that don't know that reference, Google him. Um, but it's really cool because now I'm learning more and more about people in the comic community that I did not know about. And I'm discovering new people to sub to. And my comic knowledge is increasing. So we're going to get to the subs first. And then we'll finish off with the comic book community awards. Sub number one is one that I've been aware of for a little bit. But did not, didn't sub to for a little while I, it's one of those things, I saw the name, and it got lost in the shuffle, but Peeps and the Peeps Wax Packs are absolutely legendary. If you are ever lucky enough to obtain a Peeps Wax Pack, good on you, because that is awesome, and does all kinds of stuff. Look at that, we got Cards with Coffee. Saturday Evening Packs is actually a wonderful series. Very relaxing, very chill, very low-key for a Saturday. Um, we got some trout pickups, Saturday evening packs. Again, he does a lot of the Walgreens mystery packs. This was a cool one here, the 85, uh, whatever that is, uh, Collants de OPG. What was it? I think that was the hockey stickers. I My French is terrible. So I'm catching up on Peep's videos because I only subbed to him probably a month or so ago. But as you can see there, he is at 155 subs. We need to get him up over 200. Let's get it rolling. Next, under the 200, under the 300 mark, I should say, somebody I referenced recently uh, in a video, BCNB Hits and Pulls. Uh, he's currently sitting at 142. I love the, I love the, uh, the, the icon there, the uh, smiling eggs. But he does a lot of eBay stuff. He's been doing some Pokemon. He's been getting into magic. Uh, recently just opened the, uh, uh, the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, which will have aired for me recently. I finally did my first look. A lot of hunts, a lot of cool eBay packs. And I'm finding a lot of really interesting stuff, including a lot of really neat mystery packs. Plus this one, which I found was informative about the bid board. I had never heard of it. Now I know what it is. So, B 
BCNB hits and pulls. Again, links to everybody going to be down below. Check them all out. He's at 142. We need to get him over to 200. And now for my final under 300, and they are really, he is really close to the 300 mark, is my bearded brother from another mother, Brother Rip at Rip Em All. What can you say? The man is the Hulk Hogan fanatic, does a lot of awesome uh, WWE 2K stuff. Uh, Mrs. Rip, his wife Raven, has been doing some awesome music stuff. If you're into vinyl and records and music stuff, she's been doing a lot of music uh, videos. We got Mail Day, the WWE 2K22. He's been doing a lot of pack openings. Don't know what in the world is going on, but the fact of the matter is they are still a lot of fun. The cards look awesome, and he's pulling some good legends. Uh, plus, he showed this one recently, old Daniel Bryan from back in 05. My God, he had even more of a baby face than he does now. So, Brother Rip, throwing a shout-out to you. 291. He needs to be up over 300. So, ASAP. So, again, I keep repeating myself, but this is the way of the world. Down below, links to all these channels. Brian, uh, Peeps, BCMB Hits and Pulls, rip them all. So now for the second part of the vid, we're going to switch over, or the VR, I should say. We're going to switch over to the CBC Awards, and you can check them out right up there, CBC, cbcawards.org. And this is uh, Brian's idea, started it last year, had an award ceremony, had, a trof had trophies. It was a fun time for the inaugural 2021 CBCAs, and 2022 is looking like it's going to be even better. So definitely check that out. Um, as you can see, actually, no, the nominations are not open yet. I thought they were. They're open April the 30th to July the 23rd. So get in there, nominations. And he actually broke it down, <clears throat> excuse me, into categories uh, for different tiers based on the different number of subs you have. So you don't have, like, somebody with 110 subs competing with somebody that has 8,000. Uh, just to kind of keep it more fair, but you have all these categories. You have Best Unboxing, Best Collaborative Project, uh, The People's Choice, which is basically anything, Best Statue Review. I'm into that. Uh, there's a lot of cool stat uh, comic statues. I actually have some downstairs I might pull out in another couple of videos. Got Most Entertaining comic Content Creator, Comic Book Channel of the Year, Best New Channel, started between the maze of 21 and 22 all kinds of good stuff omnibus reviews i like those because they're a lot easier to deal with than having multiple issues at least for me but this one ladies and gentlemen is the one that i am most interested and intrigued by the best mustache facial hair hands or hair and the hair is or the hands rather is included because there are some people that do not show their faces on camera, which is fine. But this is cool. I have my nominee in mind for this category. And if you've watched some previous videos, I've let slip who that might be. So be on the lookout for that. But there's going to be some cooling stuff. Plus, all this is interesting here. The best cleaning, pressing, or comic restoration content channel. I didn't know you could basically clean and press comic books, <clears throat> excuse me, to upgrade, you know, their condition if you're going to have them slabbed. So there's a lot of amazing stuff in the comic community, and there's been some fantastic crossover action between the card community and the comic community. Tons of great comic people out there. I recommend everybody going and checking everybody out that you can. And this is, again... For Brian LCS, he has crossed over 600 subs already, so congratulations, Brian. That was a huge, huge jump, you know, from 500 two months ago to 600 now. Big congratulations. Well on your way to 1,000, man, and I cannot wait to see what more stuff or what, uh, you know, what new things come from you, what exciting things come from you, and I'm definitely looking forward to the 2022 CBC Awards. So again, links to Brian, the CBC Awards are going to be down below. 
along with my three shoutouts of under 300 subs. Just to review quickly, that would be Peeps, that would be BCNB, Hits and Pulls, and that would be Rip 'em All. So thank you for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and let's keep this community growing and being awesome. Take care, everyone.